Hello everyone. It's such a joy to be with you tonight for this online miracles and healing night. We know God will move powerfully. We know it, it's a fact because God loves you. God wants to touch you tonight. So just be welcome. And I want to welcome, especially if you are joining us for the first time, or maybe you've been with us for a long time. I just want to say welcome. Take time just now to find a good spot in your home to, uh, to, uh, to listen to us, to watch us. There is no pressure now. Just find a good spot where you can also receive God, what God has for you. If you are in a car, maybe stop somewhere and just take time to, uh, to, to listen to us for, for a moment. We know that God will touch your life and it's worth it to just stop what you're doing. Maybe you are ironing some clothes in the same time. I would suggest just put that aside for a moment and just be with us for, for this night because God, I know it will touch you. I just want to, uh, to invite you also, if you are for, for the first time with us, just to, uh, to, um, to also write from where you're watching us. Or maybe you've been with us for a long time. So just also write uh, uh, where you are watching us. We would love to, uh, to welcome you individually tonight. Uh, we'd love to, to know from where you are from. And I want to start with uh, just welcoming our guests for, for this evening, to start with my father-in-law, uh, Jean-Luc. It's such a joy always to do that with you. The same for I, me. I don't know if you have something like uh, uh, like an input that God has g gave you and you want to share with us and, well, and raise faith in people. Well, thanks so much, Jeremy. It's uh, really the joy and privilege to work together in family to bring the gospel. I want just to say that, uh, that tonight is not a religious program. Is not about a church or a denomination, but we want really to experience Jesus. Uh, this wonderful Jesus that we celebrate on Easter. He really went on the cross, died for our sin and sicknesses as well. But he is alive. He, he resurrected. Uh, so tonight we are going to experience not a religious uh, Jesus uh, but the real Jesus Amen. who is willing to heal you tonight, who is willing to save you tonight. So expect tonight God's glory. And one thing, sir, I want really to say that, I we say that to all the people who are watching, share to your neighbor, your friends. Mm -hmm. That's the great opportunity we have today. I'm actually directly also on the, on the Facebook. So go and share it that all your friends, your neighbor may hear tonight the good, the good news, the gospel, but also that tonight they can experience God's power because so many are desperate as yes. we are seeing. Amen. Thanks so much. Amen. It's going to be a great evening. Amen. If you believe that God will touch you and will touch people, just write amen in the chat. We will do that together and just, uh, and just expect God to show up. Also, our next guest also for tonight is Matthias Trutman. Such a joy to have Matthias with us. Hello, all. Welcome. We are looking forward to, to hear you after to, to, uh, to preach the gospel and to pray for the sick. But maybe you have already something on your heart uh, that God, you know, that God wants to do even now, not even at the end of the evening, but maybe you, you have something on your heart that God wants to do now. Yes, Jesus is so happy to meet you, to meet us just in this few minutes that we spend together here. Because Jesus, he loves us humans. He loves us people so much. It's written in the Bible that God sent his only son. He is the God who came down to us on earth to meet us, to be with us, to be among us. And tonight he is ready and he's more than happy to meet you. And you will have an encounter with Jesus tonight. Amen. 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 We release that over you. They were watching us. We just released the Holy Spirit over you in the name of Jesus. We know God what to want to touch you and we just expect him to move right now in your life. So just receive the Holy Spirit in your life. Just receive what God has for you. Just receive his power on your life in the name of Jesus. And I also want to welcome Cecilia, who is part of the, uh, the IEHM Committee of Germany. Hi, Cecilia. Hi. Good evening. It's a joy to have you with us. Could you, do you have something for us tonight? And also, could you pray for this evening? Yes, of course. Thank you. Well, I asked the Lord for a word, and I received the word from 2 Corinthians 6, verse 2. 
Corinthians says, Hear what God says. When the time came for me to show you favor, I heard you. When the day arrived for me to save you, I helped you. Listen, this is the hour to receive God's favor. Today is the day to be saved. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you for this is the hour, this is the day to receive the blessings you prepared for everyone tonight. I thank you, Jesus, for you have everything we need. You have everything every human being needs. And I thank you, Lord, for you give it to us freely. You give it because you love us. And I thank you, Lord, for everything you prepared for tonight, for the blessings you are going to release through this live streaming. And I thank you, Lord, for every person that will watch and will receive it, even if they watch it after this, this live stream. I thank you, Lord, for your love to Amen. us. Amen. 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 Thank you, Cecilia. Thanks a lot. I want to welcome again all the, those who have joined us in the meantime. It's a joy to have you. So you are with us in the online miracles and healing nights where we believe God will touch you. God will, will heal you. God will touch your life and he will, uh, he will, you will meet him in a new way. That's what we believe. That's what we expect. So expect also that for your life. I also want to remind you that tonight is actually translated in seven different languages other than English. So you can all actually find the link of the, the translation in the bio of the video. So you can go you know, on Facebook or YouTube, or you can also go on the website healing-ministries.org slash links, and you can find all the links for your language. Uh, we want to. Uh, we want you to actually uh, hear and and listen to us in your language. So just go and click on it. And also during the whole meeting and after, we have healing rooms. Uh, it is a place where you can receive prayer individually. Uh, there's people waiting for you uh, to pray for you through a video call. So you can also find the information in the bio uh, of the video. Uh, Patrick after will give you more information of, uh, for that. So, but, but before we, uh, we 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 hear Matthias for the for the message, I want us to just go into worship. It's so important to worship God to just turn our affection, our attention to uh, to to Him because. Is is the, the the most beautiful one? Is the most important one? Is the one who heals? Is the one who will touch you? So we just want to focus on him, and uh, I just want you to just stay still for a moment. Just listen to this worship. Just uh, just welcome his presence, and after we'll come back together, and we will experience God also in a new way, in a different way. So let's just go into worship. Serve the glory. 
I'm singing oh, oh, oh Jesus oh, oh, oh You're worthy oh, 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 oh Come on, you are Thank you, God, because you deserve the glory. And we just want to invite you right now. We invite you, Holy Spirit. We invite you where we are. I ask you, Holy Spirit, to, to just saturate the, the room, the car, the place where people are watching us right now. You just saturate. And I feel, I actually see people. You actually are, are getting touched by the Holy Spirit. And you feel the fire coming down from your head, down to your toes. Is God is putting your fire on you in the name of Jesus. I feel also people that already are getting touching their body. You are feeling sick. I feel mm-hmm. somebody you have actually pressure and uh, like uh, pressure on your neck and on your back. And I just I just see the, the the Holy Spirit removing that all the pressure from your back in the name of Jesus right now. We thank you, Holy Spirit, because you deserve our attention. You deserve our affection right now, and we turn. We turn our mind to you, Holy Spirit, right now, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I want to uh, to give now the, the floor to uh, to Patrick. Patrick will uh, will uh, actually present to you more about the healing rooms. Patrick has been working for IHM for I don't know more than ten years that I know. I don't know, like fifteen years. Yeah, almost fifteen. Yes. Yeah. He's a, he's a pillar in the IHM, such a, a strong man, strong ministry. And so, uh, Patrick, I just give you the mic to present us uh, the, the healing rooms. Yeah. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Jean-Luc. Hi, everyone. It's my joy to uh, introduce you our online healing rooms via Zoom. Actually, uh, I want to encourage you to ask for prayer tonight. We have prayer teams actually waiting for you. Uh, right now to pray with you for all your needs. It's on Zoom, as we said. So all you need to do is to connect with the link you'll find on our website. It's also written uh, on your screen. It's healing-ministries.org forward slash links. Uh, It's written on your screen. So when you link there, you'll find uh, two links. One for healing room in English and the other one for our healing room in French. So we have two healing rooms in two different languages. So just go there. We have people waiting for you there. We'll welcome you uh, before we pray for you. So yeah, healing-ministries.org slash links. Have a blessed time with our great God tonight. Amen. Thank you, Patrick. And just to share with you some of the testimonies of what happened in the healing rooms and and through the the, the online also uh, evening with the the Miracles and Healing Night or other events. We had somebody, uh, um, she had pain and and, uh, tendonitis and she got healed from the knees and uh, she was able to climb up and down the stairs free of pain. That was just through a, a prayer, through a screen, so that God can touch you wherever you are. If you are like hundreds of kilometers away from us, God can touch you now. So actually, if you have knee pain or, or tendonitis, I just release the testimony of, uh, of healing on you in the name of Jesus. I just release healing of, over you if you have pain, if, you are, if your knee is actually clicking every time that you go up or down the stairs. I just release healing over you in the name of Jesus. 
Somebody, somebody else wrote us, I had pain in my left jaw, ear and nose due to ne neuralgia and this for almost a year. It stresses me out. And they have prayed for me twice on the phone and now I have no more pain and feel much better. I thank the Lord for his work and glory to his name. He is the one who heals. That was actually through our, our um, um, uh, phone line that we have. It's a, it's a ministry that we have where you can call during the week. It's actually only for, for nine friends, but you can call during the week to people and they will pray for you. And uh, that's, that's just, just through a phone. Somebody called and said, I need healing and God touched this person. And we know God will touch you tonight. Jean-Luc. That's amazing, all this testimony. And tonight, really, if you are just joining, you are to the Global Monthly Life Miracles and Healing Service, where it's not just advertisement, but actually every week we are seeing so many people getting healed. And more testimonies will, will come. Uh, I will, it's a great joy for me tonight to introduce the main speaker. But first, we want really to welcome all those who are joining because you are watching from around the world. Uh, we have different tools. Actually, I'm just seeing those who are following Jean-Luc Traxel Ministries because they are live also. Uh, so welcome to all of you. I want just to, uh, some they just wrote it. Uh, please just write to the chat uh, wherever you are watching from, where you are coming from, and uh, that will be such a blessing. But uh, I see some people, let me just take it now, right now. Uh, hello, Judith, uh, Sophie, uh, Marilyn, Genevieve. I don't know where you are coming from. If you put your, the name where you are from, that will help be helpful. But Margaret from Australia, welcome. Australia, that's a way. That's fantastic. Uh, Sana from Belgium, God bless you. Michelle from the US, uh, fantastic. Uh, uh, welcome to Sophie from Mosel. Uh, I have people also from Lebanon. That's a, a fantastic. Mari from Belgium. God bless you. Uh, I have a question, Jeremy, because I have some people who are writing. They say, uh, is it in French tonight? How can they get in French? It is actually in French in seven different languages other than English. So you can go and, and click on the link. If you go down there of your, on your screen, you can actually click and go in the bio of the video and it's all the links for uh, the, the translation. Can you say it in French? Si vous savez, uh, vous n'avez pas trouvé où c'était pour avoir le, 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 la, la vidéo en français, vous savez simplement aller dans la biographie de la vidéo en bas. Uh, ici, vous pouvez cliquer dessus et vous allez trouver les liens pour trouver la vidéo en français ou vous pouvez simplement aussi aller sur notre site internet laguérison.org et vous trouvez tous les liens pour aller uh, sur la version française. Thank you so you much. Go. Well, so welcome, Monica, from Germany. Of course, many people from France, uh, Isabel, uh, people from C C Congo, Brazzaville in Africa, Gunta from Latvia, Sophie from Rhenian Island, uh, Maria from Latvia as well. Welcome all my friends uh, from the Rhenian Island. Uh, so I'm just watching that only through the, uh, the Facebook, uh, but I know you are watching also through YouTube and we can see other people. Maybe you have yeah. another name. We have Amy Lou from Indiana, United States. We have people from Germany, from Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome, Tony, um, from France, from uh, Morris Island, different places in France. So welcome, everyone. It's a joy to have you here. That's really awesome. Welcome for this Miracle Healing Service. We do have that every month. Find all the information on the social medias or on the website. Uh, also, we have different information that we will share tonight. One thing, sir, I don't know if the team is ready because uh, I know we have announcement, uh, but one thing that's so important is the Healing Conference uh, present 2021. We will have more than 70 plus healing ministries worldwide coming together. It's going to be from the 12th to the 15th of May. Uh, it will be like almost day and night for these four days. So you have to register. It's free, free registration. But uh, And if you register, you will receive the whole schedule, but also the link because they, it will be in different languages uh, and also different uh, uh, workshops. Uh, 
uh, we will have face to face with some great people like Francis Chan, Benny Hinn, and many others. Uh, so be sure to register to receive. Also, uh, we have many worship team like Battle Music, Jesus Image, and other who are writing special song for this event. Uh, so if you want to receive it for free, just go to healing-ministries.org to register. But tonight, uh, it's really my great joy to introduce a friend of mine. Actually, we have the habit to have guest speaker from around the world. And today, it is somebody from around the world, but he's living closer to our place because actually here we are in Switzerland. Uh, uh, but today with the website and YouTube, uh, it's global and that's fantastic. Uh, but today I have the privilege to introduce you a Swiss powerful man. Many people are saying he's the Bill Johnson of Switzerland. So let me read the bio that the team has prepared for uh, to present him. Matthias Strutman is married to Ruth and is the leading pastor of the FCG Aarau. It's a big, wonderful church. In their youth, they experience a presence of God shaped by the Argentine revival, which never let them go. This fire, this longing for the glory of God is still burning in their hearts and is getting stronger and stronger in its effect. And we rejoice to feel this fire tonight. Healings and breakthrough happen regularly in connection with their ministry in and through their church. So tonight, let's welcome our very good friend, Matthias Schultzmann from Switzerland. We can, here we are. We were not able to, to hear you. Matthias, welcome. So good thank to see you. How are you doing, Matthias? Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for welcoming me this warmly. It's it's wonderful to see you, my friend, and see you all and be part of this tonight. And I'm as, I'm expecting a lot because Jesus, he is wonderful. He loves us. And I can't wait to hear what he is doing in our lives, in your life, even in this hour. That's right. Uh, we are very excited to have you tonight. And that's the reason the floor is yours. Just release everything that God gave you. And by the way, for those who are just joining, if you are to the life, miracles and healing service, be sure to share that to your friends. Copy the link, send it, because tonight we are not going to talk a lot. We are going to experience God's power. We are going to pray for you. And many of you are going to get healed tonight. Matthias, we are very open to receive what the Lord gave you. So thank you. Yes, like we are ready tonight also to experience Jesus as the one who is healing, who is touching our lives. He is the one who has all the power to bring things that are in trouble, to bring things that are not correct into a correct and good and restored condition. And as we are used as human, when we are in trouble, we shout for help, right? So we, we shout, he shout help or we take the phone and we call the ambulance or we call even Rega in Switzerland. This is our um, helicopter um, ambulance and they will come. And I found a verse in the Bible. It's in Psalms 107 in verse 19. There, the Israelites were also in need. And it's written, they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. And then the next verse, verse 20, it said, he, so God, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. So they were also crying, help! And they knew who to phone or who to, to shout to, right? To their God, to their Lord, because they were the children of God. So they shouted. And I invite you this evening, we introduce you to this 
wonderful living Jesus. He is God. You can call him. You can shout to him whatever situation you are. And as it's written, he helped his children, the children of God, the Israelites. They cried out and he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. So what is meant by his, he sent his word? Actually, of course, you can say he just spoke a word. That's so powerful. But I want to take you with me into a little bit of depth. We find in the New Testament, in the Gospel of John, in the first chapter, the first verses, it begins that um, wonderful gospel of the John. It's written, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And it's actually speaking of Jesus. Jesus is the word. And then the next verse, it's written, he, Jesus, was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and life was the light of man. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it or not overcome it. So let me read that in other words. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Jesus was in the beginning with God, and Jesus is the word. And all things were made through Jesus, and without Jesus, nothing was made that was made. In Jesus was life, and the life was the light of man. And this light of Jesus shines into the darkness. So Jesus is the word. The Gospel of John says that Jesus himself, he is the word. And this Greek word um, in the text is the word logos and logos um, shortly means expressed idea so a word is an expressed idea so imagine you have an idea you have something in your mind in your heart and it's unseen and you want to bring this seen or want to express that that somebody else can receive that right so we form our thoughts into words that we speak but we can also use other um, containers than spoken words or written words we can we can use a picture a picture it said a picture says more than 1000 words so a word is actually only like a container, like this bottle is the container of this water. So a word is a container of this unseen, powerful idea of God. Or in other words, the thoughts of God, he puts them into words and then sends them out. And as is written in Psalms, God sent his word, and it's powerful, his thoughts wrapped into word or filled into the container of a word, brought it to us, and the power is in the word. What is inside the container is the powerful thing, is what is actually the word. And this is the unseen stuff, so to speak, that is spirit and life. Jesus said in John 6, 63, the words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. So here we have it again. Jesus is putting what he has in mind and in his heart. He is putting himself into words that we can receive and through receiving his words, the inside of the word, so to speak, goes inside of us and does this powerful thing of transformation, of healing, of changing my thinking, 
of changing my wiring in my head, changing stuff in my body that is not in a good shape, brings healing. And when we come back to this word in John 1, that Jesus is the word of God himself as a person. So imagine, as I said, Jesus is the word and the word is just a container with the powerful stuff, the spirit in it. So Jesus actually is God's collective idea, his thoughts, his will, his love, everything that he has in his heart, putting it together and stuffing it into a human body. And this is Jesus. So by God sending his word, he did not just speak, though he can speak, of course, and he does, but he sent himself a human, in a human body, Jesus, a living word sent to us. And we read in the Bible, in the Gospels, this living word, Jesus, he was walking around in his country. He was walking around in Galilee, touching people, speaking life, speaking healing to them, speaking words of truth that changed totally their thinking and changed their life and even changed the conditions of their bodies. Those who were sick, they became whole, they were healed. Those who were on the demonic oppression, who were slaves because of um, addictions, they got freed and he set them free by speaking to them, by touching them. It's the power that is in the word, so to speak, that is in the container. The living water, this is just drinking water. But the Bible says he is the life. He is living water, like living water. His spirit, the Holy Spirit, is this living river, this living water, this river that is flowing even right now. When, as I speak, my words that I speak are just the containers of this powerful truth of Jesus that he is saving, healing, coming for help and changing our lives. As it's written in Psalms 107, he came to their, into their trouble. He saved them out of their distresses. He healed them. He delivered them from their destructions. So healing, delivering, making my and your life totally new. This is all in the same work. Jesus cannot help, but when he comes, when he speaks, everything is life. Everything is so, so much power that when it gets in touch, when your life, my life gets in touch with this living power, it turns into this design that he meant it to. So you are designed as a human being to be a re representative of him, to be like him so to speak, that through you and me, we can see the Father. We can see Father God. Jesus said, when you see me, you see the Father. And as we are created in his likeness, like he is the pro model, and so God created you, no matter how your life is in a mess, your life has destructive disorders, your life is in a sick mode, Jesus came to this world. Jesus died at the cross and he rose to life to bring new life to you. It's written in the Bible, he took your sickness, he took your sin, he took your addiction, and buried on the cross. And you and I, we died with him that we can rise up again 
into a new life with him. That's what we are celebrating every Easter. We remember this powerful, powerful event, what Jesus did for every one of us. And so right now, I want to invite you, if you don't know Jesus as a personal Lord, as your Savior, if you don't know Jesus in a personal way that you say, Jesus, you are my Lord, Jesus, you are my friend. If you don't know God the Father as your personal Heavenly Father, I invite you right now. It's also written in the beginning of this Gospel of John, just a few verses later. It's written, everyone who believes in the words of Jesus, they become, or no, they receive the right to become the children of God. And other translations say, God gives these people the power to become the children of God. So right now, I invite you, wherever you are, it's very simple. You can say in your heart, out loud with your mouth, Jesus, I want to get to know you. Jesus, I need that you come and free me from my sin. I believe that you took them away from me and put it onto the cross. I believe that you died for me. And Jesus, I want to receive this new life that you paid for me, that you are offering me. And right now, Jesus will come and enter your life. He will come and share his life with you and give you a new life and make your life a whole new life. You will receive what he paid for us, for you and me. You will, you will receive his glory, his freedom, and you will get back into the design as God the Father wanted you when he created you. He has amazing thoughts full of love for you. He has amazing plans and visions for every human being to be and walk on this earth and not just enjoy life, but to glorify God, to bring other people into the family of God. And where there is sickness, where there is bondage, Jesus, he will and wants to fix that. He will heal it. He will set you free. I can see there is people watching right now. And while you're watching, you, you experience like, like attacks of, attacks of, of fear and something feels very, very uncomfortable. And I, I just speak right now this freedom of Jesus into your life, into your heart, into your thoughts. And I command all these lies, I command all the demonic oppression to leave you right now in Jesus' name. Because you are meant to be free. You are meant to be a child of God. And you are meant to walk on this earth and rejoicing and proclaiming that God is alive and that he is your friend and your Lord and your King. And you are his. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Matthias, for this word. If you if you listen to the to this uh, this message and you actually answer to the to the the calling to give your life to Jesus, I just want to invite you to to just uh, uh, put on the chat just the the emoji two hands and and to write I have decided for Jesus. We want to pray for you. We want to encourage you, and I want to tell you welcome in the family of God. You made the best decision in your life, the decision that changed everything in your life. So just welcome in the family of God. We want to to connect with you and. I want to invite you to go on our website and on the, the link, How to Know Jesus. 
there you will be able to find information on, on what to do next uh, because that's the, the, the step, the, the, the most important step is to give your life to Jesus. But then you have to be surrounded with people that believe in Jesus, that love Jesus, surrounded with the church and, and read your Bible and, and just be encouraged in your daily life. So just go on, on, on our website and the link how to know Jesus and you'll find different information. But I want you to, to say it again. Welcome in the family of God. It was the best decision for your life. Thank you so much, Matthias. We will continue this evening and after we will pray together for the sick at the end of the night. So, so stay with us. We have a few announcements now for you. So really stay. It's important in, in, uh, in the announcement that we have for you. I want to remind everyone that's maybe joined us since the beginning that this evening is, tra is translated in seven different languages other than English. So to find your language, your, the channel, you just go in the bio of the video, you can click on the link and there's all the information or on our website is actually the, the link here to go on our website and find all the information. Also, we have healing rooms. So it's actually uh, um, the video calls that we, uh, that we have during the nights through Zoom. So you can go and ask people uh, to pray for you. It is actually a team of a prayer team that is, uh, they are trained and they will take time to pray for you individually. So just go also, you can find a link also in the same place. So you can also uh, scan the QR code and find the information for the healing rooms. We have also uh, every week a weekly hope, inspiration, motiva motivational newsletter. I think it's usually provided <laughs> every week. That's right. Actually, God spoke to me during this pandemic that God is willing to release hope to this generation. And that's the reason he said, please write every week a weekly hope inspiration. And I'm doing that every week. It's not a copy of the past. It's really fresh revelation that will inspire you for your daily life as a dad, a mom, a businessman, a teenager. So go just to the website, jeanlucetraxel.org, and you can receive it for free. And also, one of the things, it's brand new, we released that for Easter, a special book with 30 days of meditations with quote, healing song, but also with healing testimony. So just go there to my website and you can receive it for free. Thank you. And I, I know also that you do every week a weekly hope and healing life broadcast with different people. And the next one will be with Jenny Kutz. Uh, she's from Greece. Uh, her with her husband, they have an orphanage. So the next uh, weekly hope and healing will be on April 20 uh, at at nine o'clock. That's right. Time. So just join us. It will be powerful. I know that. We also have a miracles and healing school. During the whole year, you can actually go and follow this school. It's an amazing opportunity. I actually don't know a lot of school that you can find online and just follow through the year and, and, and uh, you receive teaching and encouragement and you are trained to pray for the sick. So just go also on our website is all the trainings that we have. And the, the, the best actually announcement, it's Presence 2021. Uh, last year, Presence 2020 was just amazing. We had more than 70 uh, healing uh um, like speakers from healing ministries it was powerful and actually this time it's we're doing it again it's going to be amazing we're going to watch the video in a few uh, in a few minutes uh, but just uh, save the dates just go and and on our website find the information for presence 2021 and after look at the video after Jean-Luc will share something with us and uh, you can really click and add to your agenda the, the dates for this conference that's right. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Uh, I want just again to say a big welcome for all those who just joined. You are actually to the monthly Life Miracles and Healing Services. It's translated in different languages. Go to the website healing-ministries.org or to the YouTube. You can find all the information. But welcome. I just saw that my very good friend from Portugal, Rodriguez Pereira, is watching Rodriguez. We love you so much. And by the way, it's something very important that we have to announce. This Miracles and Healing Service, they are every month in English, translated in eight to ten different languages. But we do have it also in the own language. So every month we do have it in French, 
we do have it in German, and that's uh, very soon when we're going to pray for the six. Cecilia is in charge of that with the whole team. We have it in Portuguese, in Russian. So just be sure to go to healing-ministries.org to receive all the information uh, because great things is happening. Tonight, it's my great joy, um, first of all, to say a big thanks to all of you, my friends, who are supporting, helping, working as volunteers uh, from around the world to develop this ministry. IHM, God spoke to us uh, to bring the healing power to every nation and every denomination of the world. And today it's hundreds of people who are working together from different backgrounds just to bring the gospel, not with just blah, 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 but really full of love and power that the people can receive salvation, but also healing. And today I want to say big thanks for all those who are working, like all those tonight who are translating. I really will say a big thanks to those who are working on the healing rooms. Uh, again, tonight, if you are sick, you can have a private uh, time of prayer. So thanks so much to all of you. But tonight, I want also to give you the opportunity to become a partner with IHM financially. Uh, we do all these things for free. Uh, actually, before the COVID, we were traveling, renting stadium and doing things. And I have a good news. It will come back Amen. very soon. We are going to come to your countries, your regions, and we're going to have these miracles and healing services with hundreds or even thousands of people. But before that, we enjoy to do it on the digital. And after, actually, we are going to still use digital all the time. Sure face-to-face -to -face and digital together. But to make it that happen, we do it for free only because you are bringing your support. And tonight, I would love to encourage you to become a partner, a financial covenant partner of IHM. Uh, maybe by giving 10 euros every month or 20 or 50 or maybe more because you are in the business uh, or you have some capacity to do it. Uh, so you can find all the information on the website, on the QR code, uh, and that will be such a blessing. Actually, we are looking for 500 partner, covenant partners. Uh, I don't have, don't have the exact number now, but I think we have one third of it. Uh, so if you want to be part of that, uh, be sure, go find the information and become a partner. And tonight also, I would love to invite you to be generous. We discover when we have the normal meeting, the face-to-face -face meeting, the people are very generous. But when we are behind the camera in the living room watching on the TV, it's a little bit different. And that's the reason tonight, with an open heart, full of joy, with no pressure, but also expressing very clearly that your help financially makes all the difference. Actually, it's written, you know, um, I want to read you something and then I will close with that. Uh, it's written in the Bible, in the book of Acts. It says in chapter 20, verse 35, uh, and it's Jesus who said that. You should remember, it's written, you should remember the words of the Lord Jesus. It is more blessed to give than to receive. And I discovered tonight, I'm not going to teach about finances or about the importance to give, even if it's a key to help our own life to grow and to receive things from the Lord. With my wife, we developed that since uh, uh, actually before we get married, but now I am married and the finances, we manage that together and we decided to give generously and we bless the kingdom of God and we have so great joy to give. And I would love tonight to invite you to experience that, to be generous. And we will give you the opportunity to give to a ministry who is really bearing a lot of fruits. Every day, for sure every week, we do have this different live stream bringing the healing power throughout the world. Personally, I'm touching every week 
tens of thousands of people and that's through IHM and I want really to express my gratitude to the Lord but also to you who can tonight to express the gratitude by giving and you can give anything what the Lord put on your heart and what you have in your hand. Uh, if you don't have a thousand, please don't give a thousand. But if you are a millionaire, why don't you give 10,000? That will help us a lot. And so that's how tonight I would love to encourage you to experience this joy to give because it's a kingdom principle. You find all the information with the QR code or directly on the website, you can give through Twint for the Swiss people, but you can give through um, the PayPal, you can give through different way. Uh, if you go to the website, you will find all this information. I want to pray for you before we pass the announcement, uh, because I do believe also God is not only willing to heal us physically or spiritually or with, in our relations, but he is also willing to heal our finances. Uh, and that's the reason tonight, uh, with all my friends, we are praying for all the viewers. Uh, I pray you may touch their heart uh, and uh, mm. that we can experience uh, this joy to be generous. Uh, because uh, the, the this world is just thinking differently, that we take the money for us to enjoy our life, and that's great. Uh, but to give for others, for the needs, and especially to bring the gospel, there is such a blessing. And you say that, Lord, when we give abundantly, you will reward, you will multiply all the seeds. And even you promise that we will have open heaven in our own lives. So I pray, Lord God, that you can touch the heart of our friends. And I bless all those who are watching. I pray also for those who are fighting, facing challenges with the finances. Oh God, move, manifest yourself, touch their life. May they find back a job. As some people who are watching, they lost their job. I want to tell you, God is the provider, call upon his name, and he is going to open doors that you will find new job. I pray for promotion for those who need promotion and that God is calling them. I bless the business people. I pray especially tonight for all the businesses who are suffering in so many places. Even some, maybe they are in bankruptcy. Lord, tonight we call your blessing upon all the people who are watching. We bless the businesses. We bless the churches, the ministries, the families in the name of jesus may the lord bless you thanks so much for being partner with us and right now we will pass few announcements that you will have the time also to exercise this generosity
are back. Thank you for everyone who gave. It's just a joy to to uh, to be uh, to be part also of uh, what you give. It's it's just a blessing to have all your your offering and gifts. We we actually work through that. So thank you a lot. We want to go now and pray for the sick. It's a, it's a time we, we we already pray during the night, during the evening, but we want to take time right now to pray for the sick. So stay stay with us. Maybe send the, the link of the video to you to your to your friends or family. You know they are sick and they, they need healing in their body. We will we will see God move tonight. We just know that. I, I can ask you, Matthias, if you have maybe a word or an input on on how to expect God to move and how to receive healing tonight. Yes, um, as I, as I was preaching about the word. There is this story in the Bible of a blind man and he was in need. And when he heard that Jesus is around, he just shouted to him, said, Jesus, son of Nazareth, help me, have mercy on me. So Jesus is here. He is more than around. So whatever you have, just call out to him, Jesus, help me. That's simple enough. And he is more than happy. To come, he loves to help because he loves his people that he made. So cry out to him, ask him what you need, and believe that he has the power to save, to heal, and to restore. And he is doing it. Amen. 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 Zoli, could you pray for, for this the spirit of healing to come right now and to pray for the people to be able to receive? That's right, my friends. Uh, where you are at home, uh, whatever you are coming from, uh, even, by the way, again, I say a big welcome for all those who just join, because it, that's with the YouTube and the Facebook who are coming, joining on the things. Actually, you are to the live miracles and healing services, and we believe that everything is possible. And right now, we are calling the Spirit of God that brought the resurrection power to Jesus when he died on the cross. And it brought back Jesus alive that tonight you can have healing. You can receive life in your own life. And that's the reason tonight with Pastor Matthias and Cecilia, Jeremy, we are going now to flow in this healing river, and but I will call this presence, this power of God that actually will invade your place. If you are at the hospital, because I've seen that some people are watching from the hospital, or if you are in your living room, if you are in your car, God's power now is going to invade you. And yeah. that's the reason we open our spirit to the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every sickness, every disease in the name of Jesus. Based on the Bible, which declared that through the stripes of Jesus who went on the cross, who died and rose again and is alive today, through the stripes of Jesus, <laughs> There is healing for all those who are watching right now. If yeah. you are sick, my friend, now the next minute, just expect your miracles and your healings. In the name of Jesus, it's um, now this healing river is open. Just jump on it by faith. We release this power to your place. Invade the sick right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, because you're already there. And I feel people, you are actually getting in touch right now. I feel people, several people, you have pain in your back. I see also somebody with the scoliosis in your back. And I just release healing right now in the name of Jesus. I declare divine alignment on your life in the name of Jesus. Also, people, I see somebody, actually, you have a, the, your hips are actually, I don't know, distorted. I don't know how it, it can happen, but I feel your hips are, are not in the right place. And I just see God is touching you right now and putting your, your hips in a the, in the, in the good place right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Cecilia, I know that you have words uh, for, for people tonight. Could you pray and could you just release the words that you have? Uh? Amen. Amen. Well, I prayed and I, I saw a wheel and um, I think somebody had an accident 
uh, involved with a wheel. I don't know if it's a bicycle or motorcycle wheel. And uh, there are some injuries from this accident. And the Lord is healing you now. In Jesus' name, I release this healing power in your body. And all these injuries from this accident shall leave, must leave right now in Jesus' name. And the complete order come back to your body just now in Jesus' name. I also had a word from the Lord that there is somebody with liver problems. And I release also now the healing power of the mighty God that touched your liver now and bring the complete restoration to your liver now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Cecilia. Thank you. Matthias, do you have something on, on your heart that you want to pray for? Yeah, uh, I have, for one, I have a name, Komoto. So if your name is Komoto, Jesus already healed you. Just check out while you were watching, listening, he fixed your problem. So check it out. And the other thing is, right now where the healing power is here that the river is flowing the river of life is flowing and it's written at the end of the gospel of mark those who believe they can lay on hands and it will get better so wherever you are you have pain somewhere or you know this in my body needs to be healed just lay this your hand on this place believing that the power of Jesus, the healing power, will come and fix this part and heal it. Mm -hmm. And it will change. It will, it will be done. It's just written, those who believe shall lay on hands. You, you don't even need to speak any prayer or whatever. <laughs> I don't say praying is, is wrong, but just following this word, lay on hands, believing that's great. There's other passages where Jesus spoke something. So, but just right now, lay your hand on that part that needs healing. Even those who have troubles in, in their head, I can see um, there's people, I think it's migraine that you have, but others, you, ha you have problems in, in your uh, remembering uh, thing and you like you are losing sometimes uh, your thought where you uh, what you wanted to say and this is causing a lot of trouble so you always have to like reboot and um, start again so Jesus is healing that Jesus is healing brains Jesus is healing um, things that are not in a good shape in in people's heads right now Thank you, Matthias. And there's so many people you already wrote on the chat what you need prayer for, and we want to take time also to pray individually for you. And I want to pray for for Micheline, for your for your sons mm. who who may who had a they had a burnout. I just want to, I just want to release healing over their body in the That's name of right. Jesus. I pray for an alignment, spirit, soul, and body in their life. Mm. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you touch them completely in the name of Jesus right now. We pray for, for your dad, Victor, uh, for healing, for heart and kidney failure right now. Holy Spirit, you just touch you touch mm. him in the name of Jesus. You touch his body in the name of Jesus. We pray for, for Sheila, for your shoulder. You have a three, uh, you said you have a, a fractured shoulder. I pray right now for, for your shoulder to get back in place. I've seen that so many, so many times, actually even bones coming back to place and get actually uh, refixed together. And I just release that in the name of Jesus over your shoulder. I declare no pain right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for, for Jari, for your leg. For, for the numbness to, to leave right now and to, to actually get back the feeling and all, all the, the, the movement in the name of Jesus. I pray for Marie Desire, for your, for your husband that have three cysts in the liver. We just released healing in the name of Jesus over uh, his liver right now. Uh, like uh, Cecilia prayed before, we just released healing over livers in the name of Jesus. Oh. So, do you have words? 
Well, I'm also following all what you have written. Again, welcome for all those who just joined you mm -hmm. to the live. Uh, every month we do have that miracles and healing services. Uh, many people are healed. If God is touching you, please don't keep that for you. Share your testimonies, Amen. write us back, uh, and that will give strength, faith to others. Uh, but right now we are praying for all those who are writing on the different chat. We have a wonderful team who bring that together. We pray, Lord God, for Benedict, Amen. who has this stiff knee and deform hands and feet. That's taken yeah. miracles. That's the reason I will exercise this gift that God gave me, the gift of performing miracles. So right now, Benedict, in the name of Jesus, not by mind, not by power, but through the Holy Spirit, I command to this Tiffany to be healed in the name of Jesus. I command to these deformed hands to just to stretch back and to come in the normal shape right now. I command the muscles, the nerves, the bones to be healed in Jesus' name. And as I'm praying, Benedict, you are not the only one. There are many of you, friends, who are watching. You have deformed part in your body. The power of God now is just making the thing straight and normal as I release this power over you. In the name of Jesus, uh, there is somebody who is writing that mm -hmm. the daughter was sexually abused. Uh, uh, Matthias, would you pray? Because actually many other people are writing. They have been uh, abused sexually. And uh, as a good dad, and I know also you have a Sozo training center in your place, uh, would you agree to pray for all those who have been abused sexually? Hallelujah, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Just a testimony from myself. I was sexually abused as well, and Papa God restored everything in my life. So when he is doing it for me, he is doing it for you. I pray Papa's love over your heart, over your rememberings, over everything that was shattered and that is like numbed down through these situations. I pray that a, a river of love, a mantle of love around you, Papa God is hugging you right now and saying, I love you so much. I make you whole. I pray that the Holy Spirit brings freedom in Jesus' name into every cell of your body. I I command that there is be a rewriting in all the cells of your body that that this this shock made uh, during these times of abuses that you will be free and I pray that nothing from the past will will be with you from now on into future. I declare you free. And I pray that your soul can recover, your soul can start to breathe again, and that you will be a new person. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you, Matthias. It will continue to release healing over you. If you have pain in your body, I just want to invite you to just put your hands where you have a pain. And I just release healing right now in the name of Jesus. We know there's so many people suffering from cancer, for tumors. We release right now healing in the name of Jesus. We've seen so many people heal from that the last few weeks and months through the, the, the healing and miracles at night or other uh, live event that we have. And we know God wants to do it and, and will do it tonight. So I just release healing over you. If you have a, a cancer, I release healing on your body in the name of Jesus. From the top of your, of your head to the sole of your feet, just release healing in the name of Jesus. If you have stomach cancer, if you have a, a, a bone cancer or, or leukemia or, or, or whatever cancer, release healing right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus is higher, he's stronger than every form of cancer. He died on the cross for you. He took that on the cross. He died and then he got resurrected to, to give you healing, to give you healing right now in the name of Jesus. Also, I commend all the tumors to, to shrink, to disappear right now in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, God. Cecilia, do you have other words that you want to share that you receive from God? Yes. Um, I, I have the impression that God um, wants to reveal the emotions and to open the eyes from somebody that um, thinks that, uh, I think it's a, a young woman that thinks she's ugly and um, uh, has shame. And um, I saw just a flower and um, God uh, sees you as a beautiful flower. So, and I, I pray that God open your eyes, Amen. that you can see yourself like God sees you in Jesus' name, that you can see how beautiful and wonderful he has made you. And everything he does is good, is beautiful, and he made you, and he loves you, and he sees you in Jesus' name. Amen. I also have the impression that God wants to heal broken bones tonight. If you have a broken bone in your body, just lay your hand now over it. And I release the healing power from Jesus Christ over your bone and command these bones to come back to the order of God. Be completely restored in Jesus' name. Oh, pain, leave now in Jesus' name. And bond, come back to the right place and grow together now in Jesus' name. I also saw God with a heart in his hand and giving it to a person. And I, I think God wants to give somebody a new heart. And I don't know if it's physically or emotionally or both. He can do it both. And I release it now. Receive, uh, receive your new heart now. Yes. He's giving it to you now in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I also saw a man who is, was lying in a bed actually almost dying i saw this man getting up standing up and coming back to life and i release this life now over your body over this person that is almost dying lying on the bed i command you stand yeah. up come back to life and leave and tell the wonderful words the Lord did in your life in Jesus name. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Also, I have a word for family restoration. I think God wants to restore families now. In Jesus name, I release this word now. Family restoration in every home where is uh, um, fights, where is um, problems. I command, I Command these problems and these fights to stop now in Jesus' name. And the love and the peace of God come back to these families in Jesus' name. Amen. And I also have the impression that uh, God wants to heal some women with menopause problems. And I release now healing for the bodies of women with menopause problems in Jesus' name. I command all the hormones to come back to its order in Jesus' name. I command all the symptoms of uh, problem of menopause problems to leave their bodies now in Jesus' name. And I also uh, sense that there is somebody that is hungry for more of God. And I I had the word that God is going to satisfy you through his living word. Yeah. Go to his word. Feed yeah. your spirit with your with, with his word and you will be totally satisfied in Jesus name. Amen. 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 It is so many people have wrote us and uh, I actually seen so many people writing about uh, 
for for actually the de um, depression and and, uh, and and sickness like that sickness of the mind and and only could you take authority and uh, and break that in the name of jesus lord god thanks so much because you are the good father mm. who is taking care of all our needs and i pray especially tonight for those who are suffering from depression burnout all the trouble in their souls in their spirit Jesus. and tonight in the name of jesus i take authority over all this demonic spirit of sadness that's the word sadness the COVID brought fear and sadness over mm -hmm. you over your family tonight I take authority because you are listening god's word and you open your heart to the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven now is invading your house and your life, not with words only, but with a demonstration, including freedom from every fear of the next morning, fear of a panic attack, fear of a lack of money, fear of any kind of things. We set you free, we command this giant, to go away from your house, from your life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, as you heal me from depression as well, I call upon you and I ask, and I take actually the substance of the kingdom of heaven, which is full of dopamine, full of uh, all the substance that the body, the chemical things need. I take that uh, and I release that over you through the Holy Spirit. Receive his peace and his joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. There's so many people writing us, and we want to continue to pray. And I want to pray for for everybody. That's uh, actually there's Madeline uh, Cecilia. Madeline said that she has a, a heart problem, uh, 11 years old, chronic heart failure. And I just want to release the word that you had for for the new heart and release onto you, Madeline. In the name of Jesus, we command your heart to be new right now physically physically new in the name of jesus that the doctors will 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 actually find that it's a new heart and they cannot explain why there is a new heart and madeline we just pray for healing over you in the name Amen. of jesus there's several people you, you have a pain in the, in the in the back in the knees actually it's a, it's motion it's in the joints i just release right now healing in the name of jesus for in the movement in every joints that you have every every way that you move and you have pain when you move i release healing right now in the name of jesus thank you god matthias do you have other words for tonight i i, I hear uh, allergies from fruit and allergy from eating fish so we just Amen. pray that these allergies are gone in jesus name Amen. you shall be free and you shall be able to eat everything you like and your stomach your body can contain it can use it and work with it in jesus name all the troubles are gone no allergies everything that is food is good for your body in jesus name amen, amen. well i see so many people writing and i want to say thanks because you have writing that show your faith and we want to honor that by the way if you write to our office the office of ihm you can go to the website through emails or even physically you can write every prayer request we read it and we pray separately and we will answer you and even if you give your physical address we are going to send you a prayer cloth actually as we don't have physical uh, meetings or face-to-face -face meeting that the right word uh, we decided to do like the apostle did uh, to send this cloth that touched them and actually we pray over them and we want to send it for free to you. We are sending that all over the world. We are overwhelmed by the, the request, but we have felt from the Lord to do that. So just be sure, write to our office or call the, or call the prayer line. And even tonight, as it already said, 
there is this healing prayer Zoom where people have been trained full of God. They are waiting you and you can receive a personal prayer. But I pray for Vicky, who is yes. suffering from stomach cancer. We command this cancer to leave. Touch Monica from the molluscum pandulum. Be healed in the name of Jesus from all these diverticulas in the intestines. I pray for Fabian. I pray for the vision problem and the chronic exhaustion. Receive your healing, Fabian. I pray for Monique, who has inflammation in the arthritis and she is losing the hair. I release the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive the freedom in your articulation. Touch yes. Veronica, who is asking for the doctor to be healed from her vision. We pray for Uget, who is at the hospital crying from crying and suffering from lungs and kidneys. Lord Jesus, we pray for all those who are watching from the hospital. Touch them right now, and we pray especially for Uget. In the name of Jesus, I command these lungs to be healed, this kidney to be restored. In the name of Jesus, all those who are suffering from COVID, set them free and heal them. In the name of Jesus, I pray and I ask. I pray for Veronica, who is asking for deliverance. And actually, many other people are asking for that. I don't know, Jeremy, who you or somebody can pray tonight for deliverance. Many people, uh, yes. they brought, they have like curses or occultism. They need to be set free. Amen. We declare now the freedom over your life. And I take authority over every curse that were, were spoken to you, on you, towards you, towards your family, even from generation from to generation. I break the curses in the name of Jesus. I declare that the Bible says that you are a new creature. Everything from the past is gone and everything has, made, has been made new right now in the name of Jesus on your life. On your life, on your family right now, I break that. I break the curses in the name of Jesus. I break every attack of the, the dynamic, a dynamic attack on your life. I break that in the name of Jesus. I declare you are free. You are free. You are free because Jesus made you free in the name of Jesus right now. Thank Amen. you, God. For peace over your mind. Peace over your mind. Right now, peace over your mind and your soul. I declare also everything that was de demonic from mm. curses from generation that was actually that actually brought pain or, or sickness in your body. I break that in the name of Jesus. I declare healing of your over your body, healing you over your body in the name of Jesus. Right now, thank you, God. Thank you, two people tonight that that brought us. It's Chantal and and Emma. You brought us that you have actually pain in your in your teeth because of an infection or a tooth decay. And I, I want to release right now healing over your mouth, over your teeth in the name of Jesus. I've seen people getting healed instantly uh, from from pain, from uh, actually uh, stuff in your mouth. I, I don't know actually what what it, what it was, but I, I've seen that many times. I just want to release healing mm -hmm. of your your teeth in the name of Jesus right now, right now. You turn everything into into new things, into into actually gold. Thank you, God. I've seen people actually their teeth were transformed into gold because God touched them. And I just want to release that in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lord God, we pray Thank for Etienne who have this cyst on the right knee. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Miriam, be free from this multiple sclerosis. Uh, actually, there is many people. There is an Alain also who is asking to be healed from multiple sclerosis. Uh, uh, Matthias, would you pray for those who are suffering from this kind of disease? Yes. Thank you, Jesus, that the Holy Spirit brought you back to life. And we just pray and declare what it's written in Ephesians, that the same Holy Spirit that brought you, Jesus, back to life, is working in and through us in our bodies. Holy Spirit, you are working right now in these bodies with life, with healing, with restoration. In Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, your healing power, your, your restoring power, your restoring love is doing its work in this body. We ask you to do it whole and even 
better than before, stronger than before, and more uh, more stable than even before. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Matthias. We will soon uh, finish this healing and uh, miracles in the healing nights. We will continue to pray for you. Every every uh, um, prayer request that we receive, we will continue to pray for that. It's not stopping now. And, and God heard you and he, he wants to touch you. Maybe, Cecilia, you have a last word for, for people for, for healing tonight? Yes. Um, uh, I um, have a saw that God wants to free someone from the spirit of anger. Um, this person is, is fighting against it, and it, it, it's something that just comes and the person can't control. Mm -hmm. And I commend now in the authority of Jesus Christ, spirit of anger, leave this person now in Jesus' name and Never come back again in Jesus' name. And Holy Spirit, I ask you that you bring peace to this person, that you bring healing to this person, that you bring calm and, and, and just um, a sound spirit, a mm. sound mind in Jesus' name. I also have the impression that somebody is running. Um, I don't know if it's a person running from God. Um, I, I hear that the Lord say, stay quiet and stop running because I want to give you good things. I want to be your father and give you my love. And I'm here waiting for you to stop running from me. so i i just release this now to this person that this person stops running if there is something that keeps this person in in this mood of running and can't stay quiet and don't have peace i release peace over you now in jesus name amen, amen. thank you thank you so much cecilia Matthias, do you have a, a last word, a last uh, encouragement, input on uh, and encourage people on how to 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 keep the healing maybe that they receive tonight, or the, the, to re continue to receive the healing that will come? Yeah. Um, first, before I have the thought of uh, encouragement, I have this strong impression there is still um, for many people. Uh, this this atmosphere of something being against you and I just right now I take again authority and just speak with me every spirit that is not from God everything that is against my life my family and my business in Jesus name out of my life out of my body out of my family out of my relationships out of my life in Jesus name be free be free so once we are free it's easy to like keep our healing there's also a lot of lies that want to lure us back into the old same condition believe the truth that Jesus says when I make you free, you are free indeed. So he is doing things good and perfect. So just don't believe the lie as soon as you experience some pain or experience familiar feelings uh, that you had before you uh, your healing. Just don't then believe the lie. Oh, it's coming back. Just be happy, say, thank you, Jesus. I had an encounter with you. You made me whole. You healed me. I thank you. And by thanking him, rejoicing in that, you, you will and you can keep your freedom, your health, and what God gave you. And just be joyful in that and walk with this freedom and enjoy your life and glorify Jesus.
Amen. Thank you so much, Matthias. It was such a joy to have you with us. Thank you for your for your words, for your input tonight, for, for your prayers. It was amazing. Amazing. Thank you, Cecilia, uh, for being here, for praying for the sick, for your for your heart, for the people. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jean-Luc. It's always a joy to work with you and just to release healing on people. It's so beautiful to to see God touching people. I just want to to uh, to write you uh, to to uh, to read you something that's. Uh, something that happened tonight uh, it's actually uh, um, um, a husband that wrote my my wife told me to write that that she gave her life to jesus she's 83 years old I was wow like, that's beautiful and yvette we want to welcome you in the family of god it's beautiful it's such a, the, the best de decision of your life so welcome yvette in the in the kingdom of God, and uh, if you want to uh, actually, if you gave your life to Jesus tonight, I just continue to want to encourage you to to go on our website uh, on the link uh, how to know Jesus to find information, or maybe you need to to meet Jesus. I want to invite mm. you to go back in this video and listen to Matthias to to the to to what he said about Jesus, about what he did on the cross, and just listen carefully because there is a message for you tonight. And we will continue to pray for the sick. We continue every month to do that online. So join us. The next one will be uh, June 12th. So, uh, so write that on your agenda. Actually, the next big event will be Presence 2021 in May. So that will be amazing. And you will see the video uh, in a few minutes with the, all the information also for what we do as IHM, all the online event that we have. Everything also that Jean-Luc does during the week. Uh, the, the broadcast and, uh, and the emails that you can have and every content. So, do you have a last word for tonight? Yes, if you ask me, I will. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I'm seeing hundreds of hundreds of people writing prayer requests. Uh, and that's, uh, Jeremy knows, my family knows, uh, that's something that's break my heart uh, because I'm not God. Uh, but I have a good news. God is very is my very good friend. And I would love if you allow me, Jeremy, that, that we can just pray a final prayer for all these people where we have not been able to say your name, like Jean Laurent, Laurent who has eye allergy, or Felicity, or Suzanne, or Pascal, or, or Ryan, so many people who wrote. I want to tell you something. Don't be disappointed because us, we are limited. But right now, put your faith in God. And I would do this final prayer expecting because us, we are not God, but God is omnipresent and omnipotent. And actually is able to touch you where you are, even if I have not been able to read your things me, I'm touched, I move, it's break my heart because I would love to spend the whole night and we have to stop, I know. And that's what Jeremy said, please join us to the other life, go to the healing rooms also, baby, you just jump on that, you don't know what's a healing rooms, you go just to the, the link there, actually it's people who are waiting you on the Zoom for a personal prayer. So all of you, you can receive personal prayer but right now, where you are, I want to ask you to do this way. Yes. I would love to touch you. I cannot, like I said, because I'm not God. I'm not everywhere, but God is. But what we can do, we, I'm going to ask my best friend, the Holy Spirit, to invade your body to reveal Jesus, the healer. And as a point of contact between his power my face, the face of Jeremy, Matthias, and Cecilia, because we believe that everything is possible. All these sicknesses written can be healed right now. So yeah. that's the reason between our faith, between God's power and you need, I would love you put your hand on your body, where you have pain or on your head. And as you do that right now, I will do a short power but there will be many who are going to be healed instantly. So as you are doing that, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over these hundreds of sicknesses and disease that makes these people suffer tonight. In the name of Jesus, with the authority that you gave me and you gave us, we command every pain, every infection, every inflammation, 
to leave the body of these precious people who are watching tonight or who are going to watch the next days. In the name of Jesus, we set you free from every disease, every sickness. By faith, we take the substance of the kingdom of heaven, which includes healing for your body right now. So right now, the kingdom of God, God himself, through the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit, is invading your body to restore your blood system, to restore your lungs, your breath system, your uh, all your nerve system be invaded now, right now, by the power of God. Be healed from every turbulence, uh, cancer, be free from every infection in the kidney, in the bladder, be healed from every pain in every articulation, every muscles, be healed tonight in the name of Jesus. We set you free right now. Receive this power. And if God is touching you right now, as important as we pray, start to do something. Move, check your body because God is healing you right now. So just check, just don't stand your mind, I'm sick. No, no, God's power is touching you. So just check, do something that you couldn't do. And as you discover that God is healing you, just share your testimony. Write us back what God has done to you today or the next days and give God's glory Amen. in Jesus' name. God bless you. And uh, uh, I'm sorry, Mar uh, Jeremy, because I know it is the time to close. We are over. But I know some people, they just joined and they didn't give their life to Jesus. Uh, and uh, I know, like Jeremy said, you can go after that to watch it again. But I believe this is now the time of salvation. If you never gave your life to Jesus, call upon the name of Jesus and he will set you free. Right Amen. now, Amen. if you are Muslim, Buddhist, even if you are Catholic, Protestant, Evangelical, like I was raised, that doesn't save you. What saves you is Jesus. Amen. So where you are right now, say, Jesus, I call upon your name. I repent of my sin. And I ask you to save my life right yeah. now. Save me. I give you my heart. I give you my own life. Take it uh, and change it uh, and make it a new life in mm. Jesus' name. If you've done this prayer, please be sure to contact right to the, to the, the chat. Uh, I give my life to Jesus. Go to the website. Uh, healing-ministries.org to know Jesus. We want to send you free Amen. a booklet, How to Follow Jesus. Uh, read the Bible. We want to help you to grow with him in Jesus' name. I'm sorry I took too much time, but I felt that so much tonight. It's so important and we want to take time. And we know we could do that for the whole night. So actually, sometimes we need to stop. And But uh, it was so good to be with you all. And uh, we continue to pray for you. We want to wish you uh, an amazing night or maybe in the morning if you are in Australia. An amazing day. We just release blessing over you in the name of Jesus. And, uh, and uh, we thank you, God, because you touch people tonight. And it, we always want to give God's glory. It's, uh, it's him who does everything. It's not us. So we give the glory back to God. Thank you, Matthias. Thank you, Cecilia. Thank you, Jean-Luc, so much. Thanks, the team. Thanks to all the, um, the translators. Mm. Uh, thank you so much to have all of you who translate tonight. Thank for all the tech team who is behind, Marisa, Patrick, everyone also from the healing rooms. Thank you so much. It's, uh, it's, it's such a privilege to work with all of you. And I uh, just want to bless you. And we will continue this again, the video of announcement, if you missed it. And after, we'll continue with the worship. If you want to stay in the atmosphere of the presence of God. See you very soon. Bye-bye. God bless you. We love you. Yes. yes.